everyone welcome back to the channel I know it's been a while since I recorded my last tutorial but actually I was kind of busy you know I have some health issues and also I had to you know find a new job I, I was very busy but I didn't forget you so today I'm gonna I'm gonna show you another trick a new lesson okay so in this chapter, I will show you a, a powerful technique to liven up your app by adding subtle animations, okay? So first of all, download this project template from the link that I'm gonna put in the link uh, in, inside the description, okay? And after downloading, compile the app and make sure you can run it, run it properly, okay? It's just a very simple app displaying a list of colors, okay, like this. And today what we are going to do is to bring some animations to make it, to make this app more dynamic, okay, cool. So let's start by tweaking the table-based app with a simple fade-in effect, okay. So how can we add this subtle animation when the table row appears? You have to know that you have a method called will display for row at, okay? And this method will be called right before a row is drawn, okay? By implementing the method, you can customize the cell object and add your own animation before the cell is displayed, okay? So here is what we need to create for the fading effect, okay? insert the code snippet in color table view controller dot swift okay so maybe just right there we can write will display okay and i think it's the first one okay then here we're going to put a comment define the initial state before the animation okay so cell dot alpha is equal to zero and then define the final state okay which is after the animation okay like this and you can write ui view dot animate and I think it's the first one, yes. You can put 1.0 here and here, curly brackets, okay. And then in, into them, cell dot alpha is equal to one, okay, cool. So in the code above, we first set the initial alpha value of the cell to zero, which represents total transparency. Then we begin the, we begin the animation, set the duration to one second and define the final state of the cell, which is completely opaque. This will automatically create a fading effect when the table cell appears, okay? We can now compile uh, and run the app oh sorry I forgot to write the override word okay and if you scroll through the table view you will enjoy the fading animation okay like this okay cool easy right with a few lines of code our app looks a bit different than a standard table-based app, okay? The will display for row at method is the key to table view cell animation. You can implement whichever type of animation in the method, okay? The fading animation is an example. Now let's try to implement another animation using CA transform 3D. Don't worry, we just need a few lines of code, okay? To add a rotation effect to the table cell, we are going to update the method like this. Okay, so here you can now write let rotation angle radians 
is equal to 90.0 multiply by CG float okay and then double dot P divided by 180.0 okay then we create another object rotation transform is equal to CA transform uh, make rotation and here you can write rotation angle radiance then 0 0 and 1 okay cool and finally sail dot layer dot transform is equal to rotation transform cool and then we have to write some lines for the final state so UI view dot animate still this one okay so we can let the duration to one and here curly brackets again and into them you can write cell dot layer dot transform is equal to ca transform 3d identity okay like this so same as before we define the initial and final states of the transformation the general idea is that we first rotate the cell by 90 degrees clockwise and then bring it back to the normal orientation which is the final state okay but how can we rotate a table cell by 90 degrees clockwise the key is to use the ca transform 3d make rotation function to create the rotation transform okay so since the rotation is around the z axis we set the value of this parameter to 1 while leaving the value of the x axis and y axis at 0 once we create the transform it's assigned to the cells layer okay next we start the animation with the duration of one second the final state of the cell is set to CA transform 3D identity, which will reset the cell to the original position. Okay, hit run to, to test the app. Cool, right? So you can try again if you want to see the, the effect. So it's very nice. Okay, you can further tweak the animation to make it even better. We're going to change uh, the rotation transform um, here to another thing okay so you can put it in comment and write let rotation transform ca transform translate okay this one ca this one here minus 500 100 and 0 okay so the line of code simply translates or shifts the position of the cell it indicates the cell is shifted to the left negative value by 500 points and down positive value by 100 points there is no change in the z axis okay now we're ready to test the app again hit the run button and play around with the flying effect cool right that's it for today so that was a very quick lesson very short lesson so thank you guys for watching my lesson today my today's lesson okay and i see you in the next in the next tutorial stay tuned and take care of yourself Bye bye